Hello YouTubers, this is Lats. Today I'm going to show you a new skin that I downloaded. I've been working with it for about a week now. It's called the Aeon MQ6 skin. I think it came out in October, maybe earlier. Uh, but I've seen some videos on YouTube about it and I downloaded it and I think I'm going to do away with Silence ROM. I've been sticking with them because a bunch of the skins I've looked at I just didn't really care for. But this Aeon MQ6 is really slick, and I'm going to show you it right now. Alright, this is the skin. I have it... Uh, loaded with a theme pack right now. I'm going to show you how to go and get the skin. It is on your main Cody repository. So if you go to settings, down to add-ons, install from repository, go down to Cody add-on repository, and when it loads, come on. Okay. Go down to skin, and it's the first one on the list, that Aeon MQ6. I've looked at some other modifications to this Aeon Knox skin. I didn't really like them. I mean, it's, it looks okay, but this Aeon MQ6 is really nice. I'm going to show you uh, some of the things you can do with it. If you go down from settings and go to skin settings, You can go down here to themes, and it has a lot of preloaded themes that you can change. It has a, their own images that will scroll through on each one. It changes the style. Of, uh, looks really nice, every one of them. But you have to download this extra pack that's underneath themes, and you can go get that straight from here under extra pack, and you go over to the right and get our update extra pack and it will go out and download that for you and then you can have all of these themes I believe the only one that comes installed by default yeah the standard this colors images theme that one comes loaded with MQ6 but you go the go get this extra pack and you can have all these other themes as well and I saw a couple of videos of a Halloween theme for this skin and it looked really nice. I got a hold of the guy that made the skin and or made the theme and I got all the files and I worked with it a couple days ago and got it working. So I made a Christmas theme as well and I actually modded this MQ6 to where I can turn either one of those on whenever I want. And I'm going to show you what I did to make that work. Well, I'm going to show you working, how I made it work. It was a lot of steps. But you can see here, if I want to turn the Halloween effects on, I'm going to show Halloween. If I go back out to the main page, you can see now I've got these images floating through the screen. And then if I go down to themes, I can also turn on the Halloween theme. Now I can scroll through the main menu and have the Halloween uh, extra pack of images that it will scroll through. And also on the main menu bar I'll show you how to change that. If you go to styles, it has all the, I think, six or seven preloaded menu bars that you can change through down here. You can go scroll through these. I made, well, I didn't make this one, but I added this into the theme. This is a Halloween menu bar, and the eyes are flashing on and off. So we go back out, and you can see that. pretty cool 
You see the eyes blinking on and off. And then also, like I said, I made a Christmas theme after I figure out how to get the Halloween theme to work. So now we'll turn off all the Christmas. We'll switch it, or the Halloween, switch it to Christmas. So there's my Christmas menu bar. Turn on the Christmas theme images. And then up on the main menu, I'm going to turn off Halloween, turn on Christmas, and turn on snow. And then we'll get back out to the main screen. And now you see I've got snow falling and some Christmas pictures, the candy cane and the Santa hat and snowman and stuff falling through the screen. And then I made my own, uh, well, I, I did find a Christmas theme pack that had some images and I added some movie images of my own. I added these uh, Christmas lights along the top of the screen too. And this, like I said, this was not part of your main MQ6. When you download this, uh, you won't be able to go turn these on by default. I had to mod the skin to be able to turn these on from the menu like this. But I'm going to add some links in the description to uh, the guy I was talking to, his forum where he has links to download the uh, the Halloween images and the uh, the menu bar. And I believe on that forum is also a link to download the Christmas uh, extra pack that has the images. And it also shows you how to mod your MQ6 skin to where you can turn on Halloween. And but all of this, like this, the sh the snow, Christmas, and Halloween here. Like I said, that was that was a separate mod that I made onto the skin to uh, let me do this. But like I said, I I like this skin a lot. I think I'm gonna be sticking with it. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, post below. Appreciate it.